That moment still gives me chills. It's been 27 years since Joe Carter hit that iconic walk-off home run that helped the Blue Jays win the World Series. It's the top moment of all time. I mean, there, there's no question about that. With all due respect to the bat flip, and the bat flip had, had more, you could say it had more to it, more emotion attached to it, but the World Series, right? That's what you're, what you're trying to do is win the World Series. And what everyone's trying to do is win the World Series. And, and the Joe Carter home run won the World Series. And it's the only walk-off home run in World Series history that brought a team back from trailing to leading. The winners and still world champions, the Toronto Blue Jays. Watching or even hearing that iconic moment that gave the Jays back-to-back -back World Series takes most people down memory lane. I remember exactly where I was. I watched... Uh, in my living room when Joe Carter hit that home run and it was it was incredible and unbelievable and like nothing any of us had ever seen before. It was really something else. Wilner has been covering the Jays for two decades and although the Jays didn't make it anywhere near the World Series this year, he says with some adjustments to the roster, this team has plenty of potential. Well, I mean, the core group is, is young and building and continuing to grow, but I don't think there's any question that they could use a, a better outfielder, at least one. Uh, I mean, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is nominated for a gold glove, but they, the defense has to improve. And they, they, um, they could, you know, the outfield is, is one place where um, help would help. Wilner is also a huge music fan and has a soft spot for the 80s music. And on Monday, he'll be hosting a virtual event on the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame's Facebook page with a special musical guest. Nick Dika from the Art Kells is going to be with me, and we're just going to basically spend an hour talking about baseball. It's uh, the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame has put this thing together. We'll also have a special uh a special guest, a an active Blue Jay who who everybody loves. So he's going to come join us for five or ten minutes during it. We'll take questions. Mike and Nick will be hosting the event on the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame's Facebook page this Monday at 7:07 p.m. Eastern Time. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.